What's up people and welcome to this video So in this video guys we're taking a look at the new number one player in the world Okay in mobile that is so before the last season we had this guy called uh, LE4 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 okay he was he's an amazing player he is in the top list but he's like top I don't know top 20 or something like that but this guy is number one in the world but currently I think he has 156 stars so this gameplay is actually recorded from yesterday but it doesn't matter this gameplay is just mind-blowing how good this guy is playing okay he's playing shoe it's just amazing we're gonna go and take a look at it in a second but before I'm just gonna be showing you all the stats so yeah, there you can see, and, uh, like 3,818 games, 82.29% winner, just insane, he has a mad amount of stars, in increasing insanely quick, okay? So we're just gonna jump into the gameplay right here, so BAM, we're in the game right here, so as you can see, the gameplay starts at 4 minutes and 40 seconds, I'm really sorry for that, but basically nothing did happen before this, so it's okay, like the enemy got 2 kills and the blue time got, uh, got 3 kills. It's fine, okay? It's fine that we missed that, okay? But you're gonna be able to see that this guy is gonna be playing really goddamn amazing. You can always see it really early right here. Gonna be able to actually escape from safe. Okay, no, actually not. <laughs> Joking. Okay, well, it was a really bad beginning there, but you're gonna be able to see how mad this guy is playing. He's playing such insane, avoiding like insane. Like he's playing shoe. He's playing as a tank, okay? And he's building tank as you see, building armor, building some. Uh, Matter consistent stuff like the HP, but like he still has second most gold in the team. And the the crazy thing about this is he's playing with, for example, Natalia. Uh, oh no no no, he's playing. Wait what? Oh yeah, he's playing with Natalia, Clint, and Aurora in the team. All of them should be able to get a lot of gold really fast because they are dealing a lot of damage stuff like that. Should be able to farm a lot, but this guy is just. Is getting all the gold, it's just completely insane. Though he's basically go going solo lane, but still playing as a tank, and it's just insane how much gold he will be getting. And he's gonna be doing some insane ukes and stuff like that. I mean, he's he's a really good player and definitely deserves being at spot number one. Though, as you can see, he's going against a door right here, and as you can see, he's dealing like no damage at all. And as you know, top players like a lot is gonna is gone like happening when you're looking at the top player. So, like, this is actually one of like the Maybe like fifth time I'm watching his stream and I was like, well, I have to record this actually really insane He's extremely good at playing shoe and he's doing it really well. So yeah He's currently is laning against Adora bot lane and stuff like that and this gameplay uh, Usually when you want oh look at this gonna be perfect ultimate right there perfect jump as well Like she can't escape just and a simple kill for his team right there That's uh, things that he's gonna be doing is over and over again in this uh, team fight and you gotta be able to see in his Playstyle, he's playing really aggressive because sometimes he might not have any HP at all But it's still gonna go in and try to help his teammates. It's mad Sometimes he fails uh, actually dies, but just still uh, He saves his team and stuff like that just over and over again So you can see he's running bot lane clearing the mini waves then he's running like uh, two other lanes trying to help So you can see using his trying to go for a carry there on the enemy team But doesn't really successfully do it and he's actually gonna go and die here again, and I think he was a bit pissed right there because he could easily been avoided if he just ran away a bit but as you can see he's already died twice and you might be thinking well this doesn't look like a top player but trust me he is and the crazy thing is he he playing with his like I think it is his teammate like his squad he's playing with his squad I would guess because like I, I think so okay if you take a look at uh, the stats we're gonna be doing that later you can see that they all have the same uh, squad, I'm pretty sure. So you mean you you would think that like Clint and stuff like that in his team is gonna be getting more gold than him, but they're not. But you can see Clint has more gold than him currently. But that's just because he have died twice and haven't been able to farm the last few seconds. But don't get me wrong, the other players are also extremely good. They're also in the top list right there. And took a look at that. There was a perfect flicker and a perfect jump by Shu right there. Just insane. Okay, and. Uh, a really good time. You can see that the same rain and the team didn't expect this at all. This is a ranked game, obviously, so the enemy team is also really good. You might recognize some of the enemy team's names. Uh, and I really love that one of the enemy team's uh, name is Mad Panda. Adora in the enemy team is called Mad Panda. <laughs> That's the best name. Look at that. A perfect jump there. Almost perfect. If you only had his ultimate, would we'll definitely be able to pick up the kill right there. Well, he did actually do that. We're gonna be able to save that for Tigrell as well. Just pushing him under the turret right there. And they're gonna be able to pick up uh, the enemy tag well, really easy right there. So as you can see, he actually died again. And you might be like, how can this be the number one player in the world? Yeah, I don't really get that. Okay, 
We will be getting it soon, okay? You will be getting it soon. He will be do doing some amazing escape. He just had a really, really bad beginning. Because I've watched this guy play a bit before and it's like, he's playing great. But for some reason, maybe he had a bad day or something. Well, in the beginning of this game, I, I know, he he's, die he's died three times already. And I got every single one of them uh, when recording. You see, he has 3-3-3 three, three, three currently. So yeah, but he's gonna be playing a lot better. I think that was the last time he's gonna be dying, in a while at least. I'm not completely sure about that. Like I said, this gameplay is recorded yesterday, so I don't really remember exactly when he's gonna be dying and stuff like that. But just wait, just wait, trust me. Look at that. Oh, he actually failed. Adora had some luck with the flicker right there. Actually, really fun to taking a look at like these top players. You can see, Adora is not dealing any damage to him whatsoever. He's just like dodging her attacks and... Because of his build, she's not dealing damage to her, and I think the enemy door is actually a bit behind. You can see the enemy team is actually fighting top right now. There, you can see Shu is gonna be running in, trying to help them. Gonna actually be running in right here, going for Saber, and I'm pretty sure they're gonna be able to pick up the kill right there. Saber is going for Aurora right there. Shu is doing everything he can to save Aurora, but looks really hard. But it's still going. You see uh, Saber still chasing Aurora right there. He's gonna be jumping on him, dealing a lot of damage, killing him, and now as you can see, he has like no HP at all, but he's still going for a door is just mad how this guy is playing you can see uh, <laughs> you can see the phrase jumping in right there and he <laughs> he pushes her up and then jumps away perfectly resetting his ability look at that for some reason he's running out again you see he has like no HP at all but he knows that he can take them because his enemy his friends are coming in right his teammate and that's because he's fighting Freya with no HP at all with a little bit of help of Aurora they're actually able to pick up that kill which is just mind-blowing who of you guys would actually stay in that situation? I don't think a lot of you guys would. Like extremely low HP, the fall like three of the enemy teammates, like the three of the enemy teams, teams, like three of the enemies <laughs> were extremely close. Your teammate were getting close, but he wasn't really with you. Like insane at what this guy is doing actually. So you can see, yeah, that he's playing really good. You can see that the, uh, the enemy team and the blue team are actually fighting their bot lane. So this guy is uh, taking this moment to actually push a bit. You can see that he buy, uh, did buy his. Immortality right there, which is really great. Um, works, yeah, it really works. <laughs> Immortality is like something you like always buy on the, when you're playing tanks. You can see that uh, Clint actually died right there. He's standing in a bush right here, waiting for an opportunity. He doesn't have his flicker, can't really remember what he's gonna be doing. He's gonna be jumping in, going for a door, pushing her up right there. Gonna be using ulting, ulting her into the bush, picking up the kill, release, and then he's escaping. Really, like, what the crap. That was so smooth! How can you do that so easily? I don't get that. You can see they're fighting right now, but he's gonna be running away right there. Like, he's... Why are you keep attacking him? I don't get that. He's he's playing so aggressive, it's just insane. You can see the full enemy team is going for him, he's using a flicker. He's going in again, and now you might be thinking, well, he's definitely dead. They're picking up a kill right there with a bit of help of Natalia. He's pushing away Tigro, running away, using his region, then running back in. Jesus Christ, this guy doesn't stop whatsoever. And then, like, look at that, he's keeps farming. Bro, you have no HP at all, but yes, you are extremely tanking. You do have a lot of gold. Take a look at the gold lead. He has 8,000 gold. He has 6 kills with you. Are you joking me? He's building only... <laughs> look at this build. He has nothing which is dealing damage except his first item. And that's like nothing. No damage whatsoever, basically. He's building no damage and still are able to pick up 6 kills and 4 assists. Like, this guy is extremely good at playing Shu, okay? So he's gonna be running a bot lane right here. You can see that Saber is going bot lane. Probably gonna try to pick him up. Running up here, most likely gonna be able to pick him up. Saber is like, what the crap am I gonna do right now? Take a look at the Clint damage, just insane. So he's gonna keep chasing him, slowing him down. Saber jumps on Clint, but he's not gonna be able to escape that. An easy kill for Clint right there, uh, with the help of Shu. So you can see the enemy team is in the jungle right here. She's gonna be running towards them, using his first ability, trying to pick up an easy pick up there, but it didn't really do it. <laughs> Clint's pick up a kill right there, Saber trying to tank as much as possible, going under, trying to pick up someone but didn't really succeed with that. But still, look at this item, he had, he needs one more item to get fully builded, and they are 14 minutes into the game, he's playing tank, shouldn't be able to get that much gold that early. You can see Tackle is coming in right here, they're trying to take Lord, she was like, get the crap away, we're trying to take this, I'm pretty sure they will not be able to take Lord though, because the enemy team is actually engaging right here, not really much you can do, she was trying to chase them away uh, as much as possible, trying to fight them, dealing as much damage as possible, gonna try to kill Carrie right here, but it's actually gonna decide to try to escape, because of that 
Atlanta team action coming in right here. So he flickers away, trying to avoid to avoid his immortality right here. Gotta be staying in the bush right here. The enemy team doesn't really want to go into the bush because he is in the bush. And this is just mind-blowing to see because he's able to jump in. He dodges his attack and just keeps running back. He's gonna stay in the bush right here for a while, trying waiting if he see if he can pick up a kill right there. Look at that, he procs his immortality right there because he dies. Uh, attacking Tyrell, picking up Tyrell right there with the help of like why are you keep fighting? This is just mind-blowing. How can you do that? Saber is in. Saber picks up the kill on Clint. Uh, uh, Shu is trying to defend the tower as much as possible right here. You can see that Mino in his, in his team is fighting Freya right there. Uh, he's trying to do as much as possible at the same time going for Adora right there which is just insane because there's no HP at all using his ultimate <laughs> Pushing her back into her lane, picking up the kill right there with no HP at all. This is just mad, and he's 9,600 gold, 16 minutes into the game. He's a freaking tank. He's getting close to full build and then trying to pick up Lord right here. You can see the enemy carries in the jungle. It looks like she's not aware of them taking the Lord right here. And as I said earlier in this video, Jesus Christ, they are doing a lot at the same time. Okay, like top players. They are focusing at everything. They're not focusing on, like on one specific thing. They're they're keeping focus at everything. Like top lane, mid lane, bot lane, lord, turtle, the jungle, everything. What the enemy team are doing 24/7 all around. It is extremely fun to see right here. Trying to pick up someone here, but not successfully doing that. So it looks like he's gonna be running top, trying to take the minions right there. Not really much you can do right now. Except you can see that the Lord is actually running bot lane and if I would be in his opinion, uh, in his position right now, I would go bot lane trying to push but doesn't look like he want to do it, looks like he want to push uh, top lane right here. You can take a look at his gold lead right here, still has more gold than every single one in this game which is just mad. You can see Lord is getting close to the second tower right there in bot lane, looks like he's trying to get, uh, get to bot lane right now. Uh, taking down some minions right here, trying to push away uh, the enemies, keeping keeping the enemies uh, distracted. Uh, as you can see, uh, gonna be attacking the tower here, maybe no backing away. You can see the enemy team jumps in right here. Tiger's gonna be able to push them away. He's gonna knock them up, jump into the bush. Uh, gonna be jumping in in here a second, but you can see the enemy team is just attacking them madly. Okay, gonna be able to pick up the kill on Shu right there. Really, really sad. Uh, the enemy team were actually a really good team play of them. Every single one of the enemy team was actually located at the same position. So the blue team oh, uh, didn't really have a chance uh, right there. Really sad, but still a really good play of the enemy team. So as you can see, uh, Shu did push top, so you can see that the minions top lane are actually pushing the minions right now, or pushing the towers. The minions are pushing the tower. You can see it still has most gold in the game. You can see that the minions actually successfully picked up the tower top lane because of him pushing the minions before going to bot lane. Sadly, he did die. So you can see the enemy team is trying to push, uh, push mid lane right here. But is not gonna able to pick up the last tower though because they're actually spawning. But they're gonna be extremely close. As you see, uh, the tower has like no HP at all. So Shu decides to tank the minions uh, instead of letting the minions take the tower, which obviously is the best thing you can do. So as you can see, he is fully builder right now. Went extremely fast. Has seven kills, four deaths. Sadly, but it's still just insanely good. Okay. So he's waiting in the bush right here, waiting to do something. We can see in the enemy bush up there, we can see that Freya is standing there, but Chu uh, isn't aware of that, so he's gonna be running up right here, uh, trying to do something, but you can see that the enemy team is actually standing in the bush right there. He's waiting for them to do something, I would guess. So he's running in right here, which is just stupid. Why don't you do, why are you doing that? I don't know. He's gonna be running into the bush right here, where the full enemy team is, and I'm not sure if he's gonna be able to escape. That would be extremely... <laughs> Amazing if he's actually gonna be able to do that, but he do have his immortality, so he's just gonna back away right there. A uh, really bad play of him right there, actually. Why did he go in there? Not completely sure. Was trying to do something, but wasn't actually really successfully doing it. So he's gonna be recalling here for HP because his saber is getting close to him, so he's gonna start running away right there. Saber is chasing him, but he's gonna be able to escape actually. But saber were extremely close on being able to kill him right there. So, yeah. If, if Saber had his ultimate, he was definitely gonna die, okay? So you can see the enemy team really badly wants to push mid right here. You can see the enemy team is putting a lot of pressure right there. Shu is jumping in, trying to attack them, dealing some damage, pushing out the Dora, picking up a Dora in a second, picks her up right there. Really great, picking up the only mage in the enemy team, keeps attacking, running back right here, gonna be running back in a second, look at that. 
gonna be jumping on Care because he was uh, located in a really bad spot for the enemy team. You can see he already picked up two of the enemies as the tank uh, gonna be pushing up, <laughs> stay right there and extremely good play. You can see Tyrell is recalling there, but uh, the blue team isn't aware of that, so they're not gonna be able to do anything about that. You can see they're running for Lord. Uh, what most likely gonna take Lord uh, while uh, Tyrell, I mean while Suez is gonna be pushing mid. So, uh, yeah, you can see he's not number one uh, with the gold lead anymore, but still, second in his team, it's still really, really good for being a tank, okay? Extremely good for being a tank, like, uh, Clint and anyone else in his team is having a lot easier to kill minions and farm jungle and stuff like that, because they're actually dealing a lot more damage than, for example, what she was doing. So, yeah. So, you can see them, they did just pick up Lord, which is just insane, so I would guess they're just waiting for Lord to finish the game. Can't really remember if that's what they're gonna be doing, if they're gonna be able to finish the game, but the game is actually getting to an end really soon. And if you haven't noticed that, um, this game is actually sped up by 3 minutes. So if you ever wondered, oh Jesus Christ, they're running a bit fast, but yeah, that's why uh, the gameplay is actually sped up. So you're gonna see him standing in the bush right there, going for Saber right there, even though his team isn't near him. You can see the full blue team is actually coming close to them, but he and uh, he and Mino is actually trying to fight them solo. You can see the blue team is getting close right here. Uh, it's really insane because they've already dealt a lot of damage uh, to the enemy team right there. Gonna be able to pick up Tigwell right there uh, for uh, picking up two kills on them because you can see Lord is pushing right there. Uh, not sure what Clint, I mean, oh, he jumps in right there, but sadly gonna get uh, shot because uh, Carib was just uh, jumping as well. Really sad, so you can see Carib running here. Will Carib be able to escape? Definitely not. Aurora picks up the kill on Fanny right there. Jesus, guys, you can just hear me. My names on the heroes right now is just getting completely messed up. I meant Carib, not Fanny. Though the names does sound a bit similar. So Lord was actually able to pick up the turret in mid lane. So they currently pushed uh, all the towers mid lane. And uh, getting close on pushing the last tower on top lane as well. So right now we're just waiting for Shu to actually go ahead and spawn right here. So we're getting real close to the end of this video. You can see 23 minutes long. Usually when you watch the top player play, they don't really play for longer than 15 minutes. But this is a special occasion because the enemy team actually has really good players as well. You can see Mad Panda, Jesus Christ, he's playing good. You can see he actually spawned right here. Uh, going in the mid lane, probably gonna stay in the bush right here, waiting for the perfect opportunity to actually jump on the teammate. You can see that the enemy team is actually going in. They're gonna be able to pick up Saber really, really quick right there. But it does have immortality. Tiger's gonna try to push you his way, but it's not gonna be able to successfully do that. So you can see they already picked up a kill on the enemy team, uh, on the enemy Saber right there. Kara's gonna try to escape her. They're actually gonna go and start turret diving her for the kill. Natalia in his team is gonna be able to die, but uh, they're going for Adora right here. You can see he's tanking the tower. Taking a lot of damage from the tower, but gonna be dodging one of the turret shots right there, so he actually survives and gonna keep attacking for the win and goes for the win right there. Just an insane gameplay right there of the top player in the world. This is uh, a few hours uh, uh, before it actually was recorded, so here you can see. Uh, the stats right here, and you can see he dealt 18% of the damage to the enemy team, was tanking 27%, really, really good. He actually dealt more damage to the enemy team than what Na Natalia in his team actually did, and almost as much damage as uh, Aurora in his team, which is just mind-blowing, because they are also extremely good players and is in the top 10, but for some reason he dealt as much damage as them playing as a tank, that's just mind-blowing to me. Either way guys, if you want to see more of this, remember to like and subscribe, but that was all for this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope I'll see you next video guys, but as always, thank you for watching. It's all, it's all.